Let's look at the first map problem from uh, CSCS. So this is all about modular arithmetic, and we just compute uh, an exponent, a to the b mod and the 9 plus 7. Um, and there's a bunch of test cases. Doesn't really matter. OK, so let's do it. Uh, let's do it Usual higher screen stood LL. Uh, it's my framework for my data stuff. Keep an even at. Uh, so declare the mod and the 9 plus 7. Uh, multiply function. And a how function. Uh, so the implementation of how is actually coming. Kind of, there's an idea there. Uh, and so anything to the zero is one, fine. Uh, this is the tricky case. Right, so what's going on here? Uh, so we are using the fact that a to the qj equals a squared to the k, right? That's the key identity here. That's what we're saying here. Uh, instead of b e to the e, uh, b squared to the e over 2. Right, so this exponent gets cut in half. Uh, so it's only going to take log n steps to the multiplies. And if e is odd, then we just do what you would expect, right? Just take off a b. But then the next time it will be even. So every two times two, we get to divide e by two. And so the runtime of how is actually logarithmic in e instead of linear in e. Um, this is called exponentiation by squaring. And it's a very know, it's a useful idea. It's worth knowing about. Um, so once we've got this, uh, yeah, this is the key idea. It's easy. Um, here to make sure that we are uh, reducing um, modulo to the million plus seven. Um, it's a nice primitive. Uh, I like to do these set functions. You can imagine having like a modulo to the class or something too. It's all fine. Um, and you just call it that function. So check that it works in the examples. A1, 2, 2, 2, 6, 9, 2, 1, something, something, 5, 2. Cool. Um, cool. Um, yeah, this is, this is the key thing. Useful trick. All right, that's it.